Greetings, ladies and gentlemen players. It's another wonderful Monday this July 2022, making it a wonderful day for murder. Uh, I have thrown me two games now. One against the six Don, one against the seven Don. Very, very annoying. So I switched accounts now. And now I'm on my Turtle Six Don account. And I decided, let's go third time's the charm. Start to play. All right, got a game here. 9-11, not bad, I guess. Uh, dealer's choice in the lower left-hand corner. I can approach. Okay, I'll approach. Um, I don't really feel like doing Chinese today. Let's just go ahead and just do a Jiseki here. Good old standard. Is that normal? I don't know. Change of plan, going to Chinese. Why not, right? AI yeah, probably hates it, but who cares? AI yeah, probably hates it, but who cares? Who cares? Whoa, approaching a low Chinese low. Okay, that's... Don't say that very often, that's for sure. Um, Come out high, I guess? Why not? You can attach this, I guess, and then cap there. Best you can do. It gives me fourth and fifth line territory, though. So that's pretty good. That is pretty good. Uh, I think we're going to go and do a little bit of poke here. Because his shape is a little bit uh, questionable. And it just ensures he doesn't get like any territory here, you know. It's pretty good. Then we're going to make a nice solid uh, shape like so. That way he can't try to do any kind of weird cutty time. That's very, very much uh, in favor right now. Go ahead and cap that because I can take some territory. He can't let me surround him or he's in trouble. So right now I have to be careful because all of my games always uh, begin out very, very well. Like even if I lose a game, chances are if you're working on your opening, you can go through any of my games list and just look at my opening. Because unless I'm, unless I'm experimenting that day, you'll, you'll probably know if I'm experimenting that day and, and get an idea for how to handle your openings on a nice like uh, balance scale that will either give you a decent result or an advantage against uh, most of your opponents. That's, that's one of the things that I, I do have going for me right now. Even professionals agree that my opening is usually very, very, very good. Uh, even if it's not using like the latest and greatest uh, in the open. Like right now, for example, this is pretty pog. The corner, I'm, I'm digging it. Just grabbing an enclosure here seems fine. Uh, what do I do if I get an enclosure? Uh, I mean, what's he going to do? Ah, who knows? Find out. There you go. Up to you, dude. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So right now, he's made no territory here. I've made uh, Outlook a Bandit here and here. Got us some extra points over there. His territory really is only right here right now. That's currently it. These are his points. Like, he'll have points here, but I just don't know if those points are going to be, like, facing this side or facing this side, right? So I know the points there do exist. I'm not saying, ha ha ha, that 4-4 will never do anything. <laughs> no, the 4-4 is going to do something. It looks like he's investing in uh, the right-hand side. If you're an aggressive player, you can cut this one stone off because you can identify this group isn't really alive just yet. And if I cut this off, then it's probably going to pinch for me, right? And then I can go and do some splitty times. Normally, as a result, we wouldn't really play here. We would play like an enclosure, uh, small or large, because we wouldn't want uh, that little stone cut off. I'm leaning towards it, actually. Hmm. I play here, he plays there. I can go do do Um... It's a tough one. I'm doing it. It's Murder Monday. Going all in. AI probably hates that move like, like no one's business. AI's like, why aren't you 3 3 right now? I'm having fun. That's one thing about me that you'll always notice. Like, even if you hate my playing, I'm always just trying to have fun. Because goes the game. I'm not having fun playing the game. Why am I playing it? So yeah, occasionally, I think this is not the greatest move. But look, it looks like it could be uh, some fun variations. So yeah, totally playing it. Totally playing it. He gets a free enclosure. I have to be careful. The lead that I bought myself from uh, my opening, I'm kind of spending it in 
uh, in this sort of fashion, right? So right now I would love to do like a splitty times because this is just divide and conquer. Uh, I don't really have a good way to split right now. I'm going to go for a small knight. He can cut me, but I can cut him back. I'm not really concerned with him cutting me because I can see that I can make uh, shapes like, like here into here pretty easily. I can like attach here or underneath if I need some more stuff. So th this group should be fine. It should be fine. He's trying to connect with a large knight and a small knight. Both these can be cut. Both myself and him, I'm aware. But uh, I will cut him before he cuts me. I'm tempted to attach to here just for some extra forcing moves before I go and commit. I'm doing it. I'm not completely crazy. If, like, if I cut him, he's going to cut me back. And that's just going to be weird, right? So fine. Bam. Oh, backing off is critical failure. You've got to cut and you've got to counter cut. You can't just like roll up into a little ball and just try to live. That is so bad. Like, I don't even care if you're alive or dead right now. I, I don't even I don't even care. I have no reason to care about your life. This should be fine. Do 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 do. Yeah, because it'll be a one and a one. And I can push and then extend. Do we care about this? Are we good? We should be fine. We're not trying to kill, but we're just not trying to just like back off and not do anything. I've got a speaking of the two throne games I've played today, I've got a really, really fun series that I've got coming out probably this week. I'm going to start it. It's the professionally thrown games. Games where like even players like top player, like Shinjin So, like top player in the world by a few hundred ELO. He gets into games where he is like 1% chance to win. Like in between like 1 in 10. Games where even pros are like, you were behind here. Like this was not good. You know? Those kind of games. And uh, sometimes he wins them, sometimes he loses them. But I want to focus on the ones where... He gives his opponent like a really, really great position. But his opponent messes it up. Like I, I want I want those kind of games. Those, those little those little throne games, right? And the reason why I want those is because they're interesting to learn from, I think, at a pro level. Because the question is like, how is that position so good? How can we recognize positions like that that are so good? Uh how did this go out of the person's hands, even though it was doing so well? Like, all, all those things, you know? All those things. Go ahead and approach here, because again, like, we're we're nicely ahead. It should be almost impossible to lose this game. But I don't want to give him, like, 30 points on the bottom of the board for, like, free, you know what I mean? So I'll just do, like, some quick little pokes here. See if we can get something in here. I mean, I could feasibly give this up. Like, honestly, I could. But yeah, I want to look at those uh, professionally thrown games. I have no idea what that is, but I'll give them credit for it. It's, it's unique. I've never seen it before. I'm getting the impression that maybe this guy is giving his account to someone to play for him. Oh, he's three to rank down. I thought nine on... Uh, mm. It's always the order of the wins, you know? Like, if we arrange, like, a loss, a win here, and, like, a loss here, it wouldn't be three. It'd be like four or five or something. Yeah, it's always the arrangement of the wins and losses. It's kind of weird that way, you know? Doing here because I can push and cut. So yeah, professionally thrown games. And maybe I can learn something from it too. Because I throw a lot of games. Admittedly, I know I throw a lot of games because I get, um, what's the word, complacent. Really, really Video complacent. Uh, push and cut? I don't know. He's gonna go wrap around here, 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 take, connect. It's fine, I guess. Or no, oh, he's not. He has to play here now? He can't let me cut. If he lets me cut, he just, this game's completely done. Just, yeah, there you go. There you go. There you go. It's good. 
But yeah, I get complacent. I get distracted. It's just like, eh. Eh. Yo, eh. Now starts. Here, here, here. This works. Um... Go ahead and Tiger Mouth, and then I might Clamp. But yeah, I don't see a lot of territory for my opponent right now, so I think we're just going to win the game. Might not be able to kill anything. I'm like trying, you know? I'm like cutting, Nine, eight, trying to harass. Seven, six, but yeah, this guy's way five, too passive. Four, I'm guessing three, if I look into a, a games list, two. he's been six on before and he ranks down constantly. And now he's afraid to fight. Is that what's going on? Five, six, five, four. Oh, no, he ranked up for the first time. Oh, he ranked down to... Oh, no, he... Oh, worse. Okay, um, I don't know. He's weird. He went from four to five, five to six, back to... Okay, he's five for a long time and went to four. He was in a little bit of a slump, it looks like, huh? I'm losing a period. Okay, that actually does explain it. Yeah, he was six on for a while, and then he went to five on. And then he couldn't get back to 6 Don. And then he went to 4 Don, even worse. And then he like, went back between 5 and 4, 5 and 4. Then he got to 6 and he fell out of it. Okay, yeah, I, I see. He's he's in a bit of a bad uh, headspace. He keeps like ranking down pretty hard. Going from 6 to 4 is pretty painful. Yeah, I can see how 6 to 4 is pretty painful. I am not surprised. I am not surprendered. This extension's weird. He needs to not be dead here. I mean, that's that was, could that have been any more obvious? It's like, yeah, I think um, I think it needs to not be dead right now. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's that's my that, that's my. Uh, I uh, have my review of this game. Yeah, okay. He was doing pretty good, and then he was dead. Yeah, don't, just yeah. You don't want that to happen. You don't want to be dead. Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, I uh, uh, That's my review. So uh, make sure to sign up on Patreon to learn more wonderful, wonderful proverbs like uh, "Don't be dead." Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> Uh But is it with the throne with with the throne games? I've gone through a couple of them that I've I've definitively seen. Yeah, this is a throne game. Totally a throne game. From uh the pros, the pro series. And a lot of interesting proverbs come up, but not from Go. From StarCraft, believe it or not. Like I've got a couple of games there. Where I recognize they lost and they wouldn't have if they studied StarCraft. Because you have, you have this like wonderful thing that came up, right? When a, um when ahead, get more ahead. Mm, hold. I don't like that. I don't like that. I'm getting nervous. I'm going to take. I can connect here. Seems fine. Connect or cut. It's all gravy. It's all gravy, baby. If I play here, he can cut me in Sentai. I would not appreciate that. No, sir, I would not. But yeah, went ahead, get more ahead. Like so many games, like the pros have like locked the game out pretty much. And then they're like, well, how about now if I just um start backing off? It's like, what? What? Have you never played StarCraft? Don't let your opponent take an extra base. What are you doing? Why are you doing this? Why are you doing this?
Or they just like sit there and don't add extra barracks, don't ex get an extra expand. They stop scouting their opponent. Like, yeah, I did damage to them. They're dead. Yeah, it's fine. I got this Nine, game. Eight, it's seven, like, dude, they took an extra six. base. You're going to lose now. What are you doing? You got to scout that. You got to scout it. And Go is a lot like that. It's like, yeah, I'm ahead now. We're good. It's like, uh, you, you left a ghost on the map and it has a nuke. Don't worry about it. It probably can't get close to me. It's fine. It, like, what, what is it going to do? What is it going to do? You know, what is it going to do? <laughs> uh, I like how, like, ten of you probably get those references. Nine, eight, seven, six, uh, five. I like how about ten of you probably actually understand any of that. Don't worry. Just know that for the people who do, that's amusing. So I think he's dead here. Um, he can go here. I'll connect. I have an eye here and an eye here. He can't take him away. So the cuts here are irrelevant. This is the only group that he could probably try to attack by trying to cut through. Yeah, something like this one. Do this, this, this. Into, yeah, there we go. Mm -hmm. And then cut here. We'll defend like so. Make sure that that's all nice and good. He'll try to attack the three. But I don't see where the three is going to go. So we're just fine. Like that. Okay, cool. So that was a nice, relaxed 6 dawn game, I have to say, considering uh, the two freaking games that I threw. Like the first game, or second game, one of the games, I don't know, I don't know. One of them. This is the second game that I played the mini Chinese in. Right? And it's... Like the first guy... I was like, there, there, there. Oh, hello, no, what am I doing? That's not Chinese. It was like, just like, hello? was just like here, here, into here. And it went nicely textbook. And I'm just like, well, I guess we're fine now because I'm just going to go and grab some pointy points. And then we like cut this off and we were fine. Then I like misread the middle. This one was nice, nice, simple and relaxing. I like it. I like it. And I hope you liked it too. Hope you liked it as well. Shame too. When was a seven done game? Oof. That would have been a great game. That would have been a great game. But alright. Anything to review here? Anything to review here? I don't think so, right? It's pretty straightforward. Like, he approached a low Chinese low. I really like this sequence. I really like this sequence for the low Chinese development. Or for the mini Chinese development. I hope uh, I see this more often. I'm not sure if the AI liked it, though. Hey, you, AI. Just a uh, quick take a little peek -see. Quick little peek -see. Quick little peek -see. Did the AI like that? Did the AI like it? Um, there. I'm obviously I'm like 33% right now to win because I, you know, black gets pretty bum rap. Black is a pretty bum rap. Uh, yeah, it doesn't seem like it's, it doesn't seem like it cares, right? Like there, it wanted something else besides this though. What do you think it wanted? What did it want? Here, let me help you out. Oh, it wanted just like the back off. Why does the back off that and then get 3-3 three, three invaded, lol. But like what I played, it's like what? I mean, it's a little bit different. I'm giving him territory, which White doesn't like it. And then I lost another 0.2 per, or uh, another 2% off of that one because again, it probably wants like this one or this one or something. Uh, want, yeah, see, it wants the enclosure. It wants actual territory. Not frameworks, right? Like it wants them solid, solid points. But I mean, it's fine. As you're gonna see in the throne series, even pros like drop five percent, like it's fun. So I don't really care. This is this is a fun game. It's just a fun game, so I'll play it. Didn't like that one. I don't. Again, I don't really care. So at that point, we're 76. I'm assuming at this point it wanted some kind of weird cut, cutty stuff, right? Like cut something, attack something, do it, anything else. Um, 
this one, huh? Yeah, okay, yeah, it wants to get into a really crazy fight. Yeah, really crazy fight here. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. Okay. I wouldn't have played that, though, but I can, I can see... I can see where it's coming from. Like, I would have played here. Because I don't care, and I'll just take the points. Like, AI isn't like that either, but uh, that's what I would have done. I wouldn't get into that push, weird, cut, fight things. Didn't like that one again. Was it even, uh... Let's see, what is that? How bad was that move? Yeah, it, I wanted to play this the entire game. I didn't, because I was having fun. Oh, it does want seven! Really? I'm a little surprised. Oh, no, it wants five into seven after the enclosure. Okay, never mind. Sorry, that makes more sense. Yep, that makes sense again. Yep, 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 yep. Uh, I understand that completely. And then, yeah, after he just turns around and settles here, then he just has no chance to rest the game. All right. Well, hope you enjoyed this game. Hope you enjoy the Professionally Thrones series coming up this week. And as always, I'll see you next time. Take care, buddy.